The system dead volume is minimized by disconnecting the mixer. Gradient elution is not used, so the mixer is not needed. The inline mixer can be replaced with an inline filter as shown here, or with a female-female union. By diluting the monoclonal antibody sample to the specified concentration in a buffer with a higher sodium chloride concentration, you can determine the unit's delay volume by the shift in conductivity when sample loading starts. Before starting the frontal analysis, inject the sample to bypass the column valve and determine the 100% UV absorbance at 280 nanometers. Make sure that you have the latest version of the instrument configuration available on the ECTASYSTEM webpage. The predefined method for the HITRAP Fibro Prisma unit is available in the latest released instrument configurations for ECTA Pure and ECTA Avant. The instrument configurations are available for download on the ECTA Systems homepage. Select the column position. Load the sample until you reach or exceed 25% breakthrough. Use equilibration buffer to wash after sample application. After the bound sample elutes, clean the unit with 0.5 to 1.0 molar sodium hydroxide. Obtain the delay volume of the fibro unit from the shift in conductivity during sample application. In this case, the delay volume is 1.78 milliliters. Here we see the monoclonal antibody breakthrough, which allows us to determine the capacity.